One year ago, the unthinkable happened. A massive invasion of deadly Russian forces into Ukraine. A miles-long line of armored vehicles approached Kiev, the capital. Rocket fire destroyed entire neighborhoods and later entire cities. Thousands of new orphans, millions of refugees. FEBC ministers were shaken too. Each team member has lost someone to this war. A husband, a brother, a friend. But we were also prepared to serve. Hundreds of fruitful church connections were established. Thousands of hurting people received real help from well-trained counselors. Broadcasters gained an audience of several million people. As the war raged, God allowed us to open two new stations in major Ukrainian cities. Zaporizhia is right at the front line. Its neighboring nuclear station is now controlled by Russian forces. Hundreds of thousands are living in fear for their lives. Thousands of new listeners there are responding to our broadcasts. And the Lord allowed us to open a new station in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, with millions of potential listeners. This is a historic move of God. As the responses poured in, we had to double the size of our team of evangelistic counselors. Their mission is not simply to help people in their crisis situations, but to lead them to Christ and to a church in their city. Friends, we have never had this many listeners in decades of broadcasting in Ukraine. We have never had this many responses and conversions. Only God knows what the future will bring, but our goal is clear. We must fulfill our mission. We use media to inspire people to follow Jesus. We inspire people who were widowed, who lost limbs, who lost friends, homes, and jobs. We inspire those who face death daily. We do this for one reason. We know that Jesus is the answer to what they need the most, salvation, freedom, and rest for their hearts. Thank you for standing with us in this fight for millions of souls.